Hey guys, what is up? It's Jackie. So today's video is going to be about things that I would tell my teenage self. Um, I was a little hesitant to do this video just because um, thinking back to those years when I was like 14, 15, 16 and just in high school, um, it was very dark. Um, place in my life I had really bad anxiety and depression for I would say my ninth and tenth grade years and that time in my life really um, was a transitional time for me like it is for most people and it's sometimes just a little bit difficult to think back um, it makes me sad because I can just think back to that place in my life and I just know how unhappy I was with myself and you know I didn't like who I was as a person for a little while there and I just feel like I've come really far and I'm still growing and still becoming the person that I'm supposed to become so yeah anyways I'm gonna stop rambling so the first thing that I would go back and tell myself would be don't rush things I feel like I was always wanting to be older and always wanting to you know do what my brother and sister who were older than me were doing and wanted to fit in and be cool and I was just so concerned with you know rushing to grow up and I wish that I could just go back and just realize that you have your whole life to grow up enjoy the time and the moments now you know when you're young and you know be innocent and do the things that you want to do so yeah I would say just stay young you know, stay your own age, don't be in a rush to grow up, because you have your whole life to grow up. This one's random, but I just wanted to throw it in here. Um, I would tell myself, do not pick at your face, at your acne. I used to come home from school every single day from high school and look in the mirror and just pick and pop and scratch, and I just hated... Um, I hated my skin and I hated how it looked and I just used to look in the mirror and just cry and just pick 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 and now since I did that and I wish I wouldn't have but since I you know pick so much I have a ton of scarring and in my last video I mentioned that's something that I'm super self-conscious about now don't pick at your skin kids another thing that I would tell myself is not to fight for people to stay in your life that don't want to be in your life. Um, I know that can be hard sometimes, but I would just tell myself, you know, surround yourself with positive people that, you know, inspire you and that make you want to be a better person. And that's what I try to do now with the friends that I choose now. I try to surround myself with people that make me want to be better and that are just positive and don't take things too seriously. I know it's hard sometimes when you're losing people and losing friends and everyone's changing in high school. People are gonna be in your life that are meant to be in your life. So, yeah, I would not, don't fight it so much. I would tell myself that you think that you might be in love and that you're experiencing, experiencing heartbreak, but you have no idea what is to come and things will get better. When you go through your first heartbreak, it literally feels like you are dying. Like, it's it's hard, and it's hard to be that age and to go through something like that, but I would tell myself, you have no idea what is to come. You have no idea the people that will come, you know, in contact with you in your life, and you never know what's going to happen in life. So don't try to sit there and plan out every little detail and, you know, say, I want to have kids by the time I'm this age, I want to be married by the time I'm this age, because you honestly have no idea what is even going to happen. So I feel like something I've learned in my short life is just to never plan and just kind of go, go with the flow of things and things are going to happen how they're going to happen and sometimes you really just can't control it and there's no point of sitting and trying to control every single little detail of your life. I mean, obviously you want to control things, you know, that you need control over, but you know what I mean. And to go off of that, I would just say that things always get better. With time, I know people say that, but things really, really do get better and you know, it might take years if you're going through something traumatic, but things always get better. And 
something that I really, and this I think is like the biggest piece of advice that I would give myself is that there is so much more to your life than high school. And I just remember, you know, being in that time, that is your life. So, you know, when people are being mean to you or making fun of you, it feels like the end of the world and it feels like, you know, you're so embarrassed and you feel so judged and you feel so like low about yourself, at least I did personally. And I would just tell myself like, there's so much more to this life than high school. Like you will graduate you will never talk to these people again. Who cares about the opinion of these people? You know what I mean? And even now, I only talk to like one or two people that I went to high school with and I just remember being so upset all the time and concerned because I felt so judged by everyone and I would just really, if I could go back and change it, I would just tell myself, who cares? Like, who cares what these people think of you? And I know that's hard, and that's something that I still struggle with now. I want to be liked, and we want to be, you know, fit in with everyone, and be different, you know what I mean? Like, do the things that you want to do, and if it's different from everyone else, who cares? That's cool that it's different. And, yeah, I just, I, I feel like I was always so concerned with everyone else's opinion of me that I changed myself and my core of who I was and who I wanted to be as a person and really lost a lot of my uniqueness and my weirdness and because I wanted to be just like everyone else and fit in and not draw any attention to me because when you're in high school you just want to fit in with everyone. So I wish that I would have stayed more true to who I was and I feel like that's something that I try to do now in life is just regardless you know people are gonna have opinions and the people that are really your friends and your family that know who you are like only be concerned with them I actually read a quote um, online the other day and it said this quote it says in order to insult me I must first value your opinion be concerned with the people that you surround yourself with make sure that they know who you are make sure that you know who you are because at the end of the day you know, you are the one that has to go to bed and wake up with yourself. And if you're not happy with, you know, your decisions, who you are, then what's the point? You know what I mean? Why change yourself to fit in and make other people happy when at the end of the day, if you're not happy with who you are, it defeats the whole purpose. Next, if I could go back, I would tell myself to experience and soak up as much as you can. Stop sitting at home alone after school every single day, watching TV in the basement um, by yourself. Like, go out, experience, and put yourself out there. You know, these are memories that you're gonna make and it's a part of your life and a part of your journey. And I just wish that I would have not been so critical and hard on myself and that I would have been confident enough to reach out to new friends and reach out to people you know that I thought maybe were cool people but was too shy or too awkward to like go up and be their friend so put yourself out there more I just remember when I was in high school it felt like everyone and everything in the world at times was against me and it's a hard time I tell people that when I was like 15 and 16 and in high school, like 10th grade, 11th grade, that was the hardest years, you know, I think of my life just because, like I said, it really affected me. Um, just, I was so hard on myself. And I would just tell myself, like, if I could go back now, just don't take yourself too seriously. It's to be grateful for what you have and just when you're feeling like everyone is against you, remember that you have a great life and people are always going through worse things than you are. It doesn't matter where you're at in life. Um, people always have it worse, people always have it better, but just to remain grateful. Even though it feels like it's the end of the world, I can assure you that it is not. You will move on in life and you know, do so many other things and that's just one little short chapter in your life or those years, your teenage years. And I would tell myself just to keep going. Like you're gonna get to a point where you're gonna do great things and you're gonna 
you know, flourish into this person that you want to be and you get to choose that. You get to choose who you are as a person in this world and no one else gets that power. You know, people might judge you, people might criticize you, but you get to choose the type of person that you want to be. And as I've gotten a little bit older, I've just realized that I have that power. That is up to me. And anything that's blocking me or these thoughts inside my head that people are judging me and criticizing me, it's just in my head. It's in my own head. And, you know, if you are getting bullied or people are being mean to you at school, just to know that we're all going through things and it's probably not even you. You know, for someone to drag someone else down it says a lot about them and who they are as a person. So when you kind of like separate that and just know that it's not you. You know what I mean? People are all going through things. Everyone has issues. Probably not even your fault. Sometimes people have bad days and they take it out on the wrong people. And, you know, I'm sure we all are guilty of doing this, but just know that if you're happy with who you are and the decisions that you make, then that's all. So to wrap this up, biggest piece of advice would be to just be happy with who you are as a person, experience things, live your life, try your best not to care what other people think of you. Um, people are going to judge you regardless, so you might as well, you know, be happy and do the things that you want to do. Also, if you get anything else out of this video, it would be that there's so much more to life than your high school experience. I tell people all the time that my life now, I'm so much happier. I'm in such a better place, oops, oops, I'm in such a better place mentally um, now that I'm a little bit older and have kind of learned how to cope with my like social anxiety and depression, things get better with time and it's up to you if things get better. You know, we get stuck inside our own heads so often and if I could go back I would just tell myself it's going to get so much better. So. I love you guys. I hope this was not all over the place because I know I was rambling and had like so many different thoughts going on, but I really just wanted to sit down and film this video for you guys. So I will see you soon and I love you. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.